all right guys splits here in today's video we got a very special unboxing and yes guys i finally got it you guys can probably tell just from the title but look at this three two one oh shit look at that nice glide that animation that i did but here it is guys the playstation 4 remote official licensed product i finally got it guys so i'm gonna show you guys around so there's the front the side the back uh let's see what it says here all right so it's just a bunch of languages and then the side universal media remote look at that shit and then the back or the bottom i mean if you guys care but yeah let's do this i've always wanted this and we're gonna set it up we're gonna see if it works obviously it's gonna work but let's see what comes in the box sorry for the freaking birds chippering like there's no tomorrow always interrupting me when i do these look at that they're still going all right well i think i got it open here I'm trying to get oh look oh there was a bird literally right in front of me all right here we go oh shit guys you guys see this oh, let me put this away look how sexy this knife is all right so here we go let's see what's in here i can damn open it all right so we got the instructions man let's read this word from word guys i'm just kidding fuck that shit all right so oh the remote is under this ready three two one oh sh shit brand new damn this is skinny this is super skinny guys let me get this out of here Oh, look at that. You guys got to recycle this. All right, let's open this. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice tech. Oh, this is like the same texture like in the back of your PS4 controller. It's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. So this is what we got, guys. So, oh yeah, warning, this does not come with batteries. It comes with, uh, let me see here. I think it comes with two, yeah. It requires two AAA batteries, so keep that in mind. I'll put this away. All right, so this is, this is how it looks like. So let me feel the buttons. Oh, look, the PS buttons right here. All right, so they got this mesh feeling, and that's what you want to call it. It's nice. I don't know if you guys can hear that click. But, yeah, let's actually... Alright, so that's where the batteries will where are gonna go. I can put this back. Oh my god, fail. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's just a remote, guys. You gotta play, you got your numbers. I'm not sure if you can play games with this. Like, I don't know if you would play like this. I don't know. But... We're going to see if it can. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to set it up. You guys want to check this out. I'll put a link down below so you guys can check it out. But if you guys want to get it yourselves. But yeah, look at this remote. I'm going to test it out, set it up for you guys and show you how. I'm pretty sure it just connects to Bluetooth. So let's do that. Before I show you guys how to set up, let me show you guys a better, closer look. So here it is. So you got your triangle circle x square the ps button and your play buttons and then that's basically it show you guys the back two damn that bird was singing but yeah guys now i'll show you yeah thanks for singing all right guys so before we connect the uh remotes we first need to go on the ps4 and if you guys go to your settings and then go down to devices and then bluetooth devices this is where you want to be so now i'll show you guys how to connect the remote now all right so here's my remote you guys can see um so if you guys look here 
this PS PlayStation logo, you want to hold that, and then right here is the share button, you want to hold that too at the same time. So I'm going to do that for like, I say like 5 seconds, and it will automatically detect it on the PS4, so to do that, so just hold it, hold that, and then any second now, you guys will see, you guys can see like the blinking light right here, which means it's connected. Or it's connecting to my PS4, so it actually detected on my PS4 now. Yeah, I can see that. It's called the uh, PDP Universal Media Remote. So I'm gonna click that, and then it's gonna start connecting. And it says here, "Do you want to register as Bluetooth device?" I'm gonna click yes. And boom guys, so this is a functioning remote now. You guys can see it turned solid red. Alright, now it went out because it's connected. So, yeah, you guys can see it when I move down up, it moves with it. So I'll show you I'll show you guys other things that this remote can do. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I'll show you what this can do. Um, Let's we'll start off from top. So, here is the eject button. I can eject if I had a disc in it. I don't. So, you guys can hear that. Um, we got the PS4, uh, the number channels, we got uh, the top pop-up exit return, and then the input, and then this actually acts like a legit um, PS4 remote, so you guys can see how the remote has like all these circle buttons and triangles, like this does the exact same thing, so like, you guys can see the arrows right here, I can move left or right, if I want to go back, just press circle. So it acts like a legit um, PS4 controller. And then enter. So if I want to enter, like, let's say my profile, I can do that. Um, what else can we do? Also, if, I'm going to go back real quick. You can also, um, there's a share button. And like I said, it, it, just like the same thing happens when you press the controller, the share button. So that can do that options I got it can do that and then we got your if you guys were playing like a DVD you guys can see the play record and all that stuff so I'm actually gonna go to a game right now we're gonna test this on test it on Black Ops 3 and I'm gonna see if I can actually play or like maybe control the menu using this remote so we're gonna see how that goes and then yeah, that'll be it. Unfortunately, guys, the remote doesn't work to play games. So you guys can see, if I go down, it doesn't it doesn't want to do it. But if I do it with the remote, you guys can see it's going down. So, whoops, I leave it like that. So, but what you can do is like, if I press the PS button on this, you guys can see it goes to the PS menu. So, and I can, like I said, I can do the exact same thing. I can move around can even message or like uh, view my profile if I wanted to so alright guys so here we are on the YouTube app on the PS4 so you guys can see my remote right here we're gonna see if it works so let's do it so so it does look like it works I'm moving left and right so let me actually go to a video right here Seth Rollins versus Triple H oh great an ad alright so here it is here's the video um so you guys can see the remote controls right here. I'm actually gonna turn up the brightness a little bit. So if you guys can see here, these are the uh, play and stop uh, button. So let's see what happens if I pause it. Let's see if it works. All right, so it does work. Play. If I wanna, let's see. If I wanna go back. So it does work if I go back. So it does work. This also works with um, not just YouTube, but uh, I'm actually gonna pause this so I don't get a copyright strike. So I'm actually so this does work with like Netflix, DVD if you have one, and YouTube obviously and other apps. So they all work with this. So yeah, guys, that's how that's how it works. If you guys want to check this remote out, I'll put a link down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, it's pretty cool, really cool. That's how it looks like once again.
so it does work with all these apps right here yeah, I can see so yeah guys thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed